do that position holding. And if, can I, while it's in position hold, as long as it doesn't go off too, too high or maybe I can see if I can actually push that forward a bit and see what happens. Does it stay now where I've pushed it forward to or does it come back? Will this be like flying in GPS hold? So if I go to the left, then will it just hold there where I stop? Or does it bring me back? No, it holds there where I stop. Okay, so this is a little bit like the old GPS hold on. So I can turn around and then just hold there, can I? Oh, well, this is great. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I, I never actually realised you could do that. I didn't realise it was a case of. Yeah, I didn't realise it was a case that you could actually do that. If I can turn that way, then and we're still going to be holding. I'm not going to touch the throttle. I want to see what happens. Look, the throttle's at 38 percent, which is quite high, really, considering this normally hovers about 33, 34. So I wonder when I take an hour position hold, maybe I have actually knocked the throttle. If I turn it back down to 34, does it do anything? No. If I put it back to 30, let's say put it on 35, I'd expect it to jump up a bit. Now this could be part of the reason why it does that jumping. And it has gone up, it's going up. That's, that brings it back down to my throttle hold, which is a little bit lower than that 35 then. Okay, I get that. So depending on my throttle, depending on what it's going to do. I can see a pussycat down there. I wonder if you can see me as well. Uh, oh, I don't want to startle Pussycat, I love Pussycat, so I've got Pussycat myself. But it is interesting to see that now, I wonder what it's like actually just flying it around in position hold. So I'm just going to fly it around in position hold. Because this is what a lot of you guys may be, that you might be worried about that, you wouldn't have any of this control. I let go of the sticks and it's just going to hold itself. Yeah, this, that, that could be something uh, for you guys out there who want to come from a Hudson maybe to something like this, but are a little bit worried that if you don't have some of this um, to help you, you know, learn, learning how to fly, that maybe you'd be a bit worried that it's just going to go off all over the place and you won't have control. Well, look, this is, this is great because I've learned something today about this that I didn't know before, that you can fly around quite freely as well quite freely position in position hold yep it doesn't seem to be position like hold. lagging meaning that I don't what I what I don't get is that experience of all oh, my sticks position aren't doing hold. anything the sticks are still doing exactly the same as what they do in horizon position mode hold. without being in position hold okay the difference is as soon as I let go of the sticks um, this is gonna be a great way to teach people I've got, a, I've got a friend who's got a little tiny one now, he's picked up something very similar, it's a Simon knockoff, you know, the X5C. And he said, yeah, can you come round and just show us what to do here? And I'm, but this will be fantastic, you know, to say to him, hey, look, you can do this sort of thing. Um, now, I'm not doing this FPV, I'm doing this line of sight. Uh, you're going to do this sort of thing. And if you get in any sort of trouble, you think, oh, no, I'm too deep, close to the tree, just let go of the sticks. And boom. Of course, as long as you're not going too fast and you don't overshoot it everywhere, and then you can just push forward to come back this way. Get a little bit of your. But, but this is what I'm trying to say, look. I'm going to come forward now, I'm going to let go of the stick. Oh. Beautiful. I did not know you could fly like that with this. I haven't tried this before. We have learned some good stuff today. At least, okay, maybe you haven't, but I have. Hold. I've learned some good stuff. I now know that I can have this literally put the brakes on and that's pretty much where I just let go of the sticks. Yeah, we got a bit of a toilet bowl here, so let's see what happens. Let's see if it sorts itself out, which it is. Oh yes, our magnetometer is set up okay. Ooh, I'm really happy. Any more seen than you think that I'm really, I'm really happy, yay! Yay! Knock it on the head. And there we go.
Now, if I look, I was going to say, if I look at my, uh, can I adjust my, my throttle? So if I notice then my throttle is pretty low. So if I put the throttle back up a little tiny bit, just see if anything is going to go up and not go down. If I try to put it back to where it should be, around about 35, I think, 30, 33, 35, should be good enough. Okay, so, so the throttle works as well, because that goes up. Yeah, and it also goes down. Yeah. I can actually take advantage of that and find that sweet spot round about where my normal throttle area is, so it just keeps it hovering. But the beauty about that is, yes, you can. Yes, you can. If you want to, you can use position hold and get a lovely smooth fly. I mean, that is smooth. That is smooth. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Nothing wrong with that at all. I wonder what it would be like if I were to do like... Um, let it go, no, if I left altitude hold on. I know with the... Um, with the hubs, once or twice altitude hold when I dive and then I try to pull it up at the last second, it had a little bit of a wobble out there. But Anyway guys, I think we've learnt today, I've learnt today and um, that makes the day a great day. And um, I'm going to go back in now and get myself a coffee. So I had one coffee before I came out and um, get this video out here to show you. This is the test flight and the test flight is fine, I'm concerned. Was a success. Oh. Out of position hold. I had to catch that uh, on the throttle. I'm going to bring it in here now and just land. Pretty damn close to me. I suppose I could actually do a return to home, couldn't I? See if that works. Return to home. <laughs> and it should turn round to me because we started off with the battery facing return forward. But I'm going to wave goodbye now and uh, just land it where it is. No, no, I'm going to bring it closer to me because I'm too idle to walk over there. Oh. I'm going to bring it in backwards because that's a lot easier for me in this semi stabilized mode. Engine disabled. Okay, brilliant. Absolute brilliant. Thanks, guys, for watching, and um, I will see you in the next one.